Hello everybody. Welcome to Brainy Dental. In this video, I have explained all the steps from the beginning to the end for a complete RCT procedure. So let's go ahead and watch. In an RCT procedure, the first step is access cavity preparation, which I had described in a previous video. For working length determination, a 15 number file is taken and it is placed in the root canal through the access cavity and gently moved along the canal till we reach the apex. Then with help of a stopper, the length is marked against the incisal edge. After this, the radiograph is taken. For exact working length determination, the tip of the instrument should be ending 0.5 to 1 mm short of the tooth apex. We take out the file from the tooth and measure the length on the scale. The length has turned out to be 22 mm, so that is our working length. For irrigating solution, I took 5.2% sodium hypochlorite and diluted it with 50% saline. Then I marked all the files up to 22 mm and dipped them in a solution of hypochlorite to make my working easy. For pulp expiration, I am going to use 10 number barb brooch. I have inserted it in the canal, rotated it in a clockwise manner and pulled it out. So any pulp present in the canal can be removed in this way. For canal preparation, I will take 15 number file and insert it till the working length. Then I will start circumferential filing. That means I will move the file along the circumference while moving it in a up and down manner. That means I will be rasping it up and down and move along the circumference. You can see we will continue with this process till our file becomes loose. After canal preparation, the instrument can be cleaned by using a wet course. I am using saline here. The file is placed in the course and the debris is wiped off the flutes. Irrigation is important because it cleans the canal, helps to disinfect it and also allows proper instrumentation. While irrigating, make sure that you do not force the irrigant beyond the apex. This would irritate the periapical area. Now we'll use next number file, which is the 20 number. Recapitulation means returning to a smaller number instrument, now we have taken number 20 here, before advancing to a larger size. Now this helps to prevent packing of the dentinal filing debris in the root canal and also it helps to ensure the proper patency of the root canal.
we are going to enlarge the apex till 45 number file. So our 45 number file will be the master apical file. marked my files at 22, 21, 20, 19 millimeter and now I will start my step back procedure. A 40 number file is taken till the working length and it is used to smooth out all the steps that have been created. It is moved up and down all along the walls. Now this helps in refining the walls and it helps us to have a smooth, clean and continuous taper of the canal till the apical direction. Before we proceed to obturation, we need to dry the canal. For that, I have used absorbent paper points. This is the 30 number point. I've placed it in the canal. You can see it has got all wet. Now I will change it and take another one. This is a 35 number point. And it has also got wet. So this way we continue to change the points till we get a dry paper point. Since my master apical file was 45 number, so I'll select 45 number gatta pacha as my master cone. I will use 30, 25, 20, 15 number gatta pacha as accessory cones. I take 45 number GP, mark it till 22 millimeter and put it in the canal. Now I observe that this gatta pacha is loose in the canal. There is no tuck back. So, I take 50 number and place it in the canal at 22 millimeter and now I observe that as I try to pull out the gatta parcha I feel a pressure some resistance this is called tug back so I will select this as master cone let us see with 55 number now we observe that the gatta parcha does not go till the working length. I have my sealer ready. This is my master cone, 50 number, accessory cones, that is 25 number, 20 and 15 number. These are spreaders, 25 number and 20. Now I'm ready for obturation. My first step will be to coat the canal with the sealer.
I take a smaller number file, say 25 number, mark it till the working length and place it inside the canal after coating it with the sealer. Now I move the file all along the walls of the canal, coating the walls with the sealer. And once I'm done, I pull out the file. Now I take the master cone, coat it nicely with the sealer and place it inside the canal till the working length. Now as I pull it out slightly, I feel the tuck back. So my master cone has properly sealed the apex as I wanted it to. I take a spreader of 25 number inserted in the canal and I start lateral condensation that means I push the katta parcha laterally onto one side. This creates space for the accessory cones that can be later put. Now this process continues till we cannot push in the spreader any further showing that the root canal is completely filled. Now I've taken a plastic filling instrument, heated one end, end of it and I've removed the excess gatta parcha. I've cut it out. Now I heat the other end and I use it to gently compact it inside the canal orifice. The gatta parcha should be extending only till the root canal orifice. The chamber is cleaned and the restoration can be placed in the access cavity. I would suggest that you practice an RCT on an extracted tooth by following this step by step tutorial. This will help you to deal with the patient better. Do like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.